How's it going, everyone? Sandy Kalor here. Um, hard to believe it's been 10 years since me and my friends made a little movie called Batman Dead End. A lot's happened in that 10 years. Um, most of it good, some of it bad. Uh, all of it interesting. So we're doing a little documentary. We're going to do a uh, Batman Dead End 10-year retrospective. Um, you're going to hear from all the cast and crew. Uh, through never-before-seen, behind-the-scenes stuff, uh, makeup tests, costume tests, uh, audition tapes. Um, I'm also going to show you a couple little things that I cut out of the movie uh, that you've never seen before. Um, tell you stories about who originally was supposed to play Batman, who originally was supposed to play the Joker. Um, dispel all the myths and all the rumors once and for all about uh, why I did the project, where we did the project, how we shot it, where a lot of these special effects related things actually came from, who did what, um, catch you up with the cast and crew through new interviews. Um, some of them have gone on to do really great things. The producers of the film uh, went on to work on the Transformers movies, uh, one of the guys on the cast and crew won an Academy Award. Uh, I, of course, went on to make um, a feature film uh, currently in production on my second one as I record this video right now. Um, also, some not-so-great things uh, that happened. Um, we actually lost uh, two members uh, of our cast and crew. Andrew Koenig, um, the guy who played the Joker, uh, has passed on. Uh, and Henry Alvarez, my mentor uh, and dear friend who sculpted the, the Batman cow for the movie. Um, also, uh, Bob Griffith, our stunt coordinator and fight choreographer, also suffered a debilitating stroke. The good news there is he's fine. He's actually writing and directing himself, um, working on a very uh, cool web series. Uh, he's also going to help me edit uh, the film and uh, get this documentary going, which is very cool. Um, Everybody that contributes to the cause and gives to the campaign is going to get a screen credit on the movie. Uh, I truly feel that it's the fans that have made Batman Dead End um, ultimately the, the success that it has become and, you know, the cult icon that it's, that it's become. Uh, case in point, um, the NECA Toys uh, Big Red Predator uh, from Batman Dead End. This is an officially licensed toy that you can go buy at Toys R Us. Big Red from NECA Toys. Very cool. So lots of cool stuff like that. Um, so give what you can. Uh, as always, it's appreciated. You know, independent filmmakers. I'm sure there's a lot of you out there watching this. We all, we're all kind of in the same boat. You know, you got to rob from Peter to pay Paul and do it. Do the best you can with what you have. And, and, and that's how these, these things get done. So uh, anyway, thank you very much for your support. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you soon.